Welcome again to the Solid Signal Podcast, this time for the week of October 6, 2014. I'm anxious to get started because this is one of those weeks when I have a whole bunch of little ideas and I'm trying to tie them in to a common theme, and hopefully I'll succeed. You'll know in about five minutes. The theme for this week is those first stirrings of fall. No matter where you are in the country, you've probably noticed that autumn is here. Even in our Southern California offices, it has gone from being roughly 100 degrees to being roughly 90 degrees, which is what counts for fall here in Southern California. At any rate, it's that time to think about getting prepared for the winter so that when you settle in for those long days full of blizzards and cold and rain and all those things that keep you from going outside, that you're going to be happy with your experience. It only takes a little bit of time and a little bit of preparation to make sure that everything is great for the winter. First and foremost, this is that time to climb up and take a look at the condition of the connections on your antenna and satellite dish. Finally, it's gotten cool enough so that the aluminum ladder will not burn your hands as you climb up it, that the composition tiles on the roof will not scorch you as you stand on them. Take excellent care, of course, and then take a look at those antenna and satellite connections. Do you see any corrosion that you didn't see in the spring? Do you see anything loose? Do you see anything that the wind maybe has pushed aside? What about evidence of insects or even birds? Because, um, without getting too gross, birds do tend to leave their presence on antennas and satellite dishes. Time to gently clean that stuff off as gently as possible, especially with your satellite dish, so that you don't knock it out of alignment. This is also time to make sure that wherever a cable goes into your house, that the hole is appropriately insulated. You should be using little push-on sleeves, if at all possible, to try to make sure that those holes are covered up. It really makes a difference to your energy costs in the winter when every dollar counts on making sure that your home is as warm as it needs to be. While you're out there, take a look if you have an external cell booster antenna. Cell booster antennas, being smaller, tend to fare a little bit better than satellite and TV antennas, but on the other hand, they can get bent, they can have uh, residue on them, just like anything else. It's really the time to take a look at all of that before it gets too cold. Another thing to look at is whether or not you have the appropriate emergency supplies. I'm uh, bound to tell you that SolidSignal.com has a great selection of emergency flashlights and radios, and uh, of course... SolidSignal.com does underwrite the cost of this podcast, so I am uh, very grateful that they do that. As I've suggested in uh, other avenues, I've written articles about it and such, this is also a fairly decent time to check the batteries in those electronic devices that you don't use that often to make sure that they've not swollen or become corroded or anything like that. The last thing you want to do is run out of battery on something when you really don't want to go outside and to the store and buy more of them. These are just the little things that bring satisfaction to us in the winter and don't take a whole lot of time in the fall to accomplish. Fall, of course, also brings us new television programs and, in many cases, plenty of political advertising. So take a quick look at any series link or season pass or timer function that is on your DVR you know, many DVRs have a maximum number, especially DirecTV DVRs, which are only going to give you 50 series links on a regular DVR and 100 on a Genie. Clean out those ones that you no longer watch or have gone off the air. Give yourself some time to add a few more that might be interesting to you and make yourself a little more familiar with some of the on-demand offerings from your satellite provider of choice so that, again, when you've got the time and nothing better to do because it's just snowing like heck out there. You will have plenty of entertainment. Oh, by the way, this is also a great time if you live up in the north to put on a dish heater, and if you don't, it's still a great time to make sure that everything is in exactly perfect alignment because as the days get grayer, reception tends to get worse. What do you think? Did I tie it all together? Leave a comment or let us know. Until then, have a great week.